There once was a lady in waiting, let's call her Jane. That girl wasn't ordinary. No way for me, a lady stuck in waiting. I'd rather battle fire breathing dragons. I knew I could prove that a girl could be a knight, though my friends all laughed at me. But I wouldn't be discouraged and trained in secret. Then a dragon pinched the royal prince, and everyone was freaking. So I went alone to the dragon's home to slay the dragon. The young prince, then the king made me a knight apprentice. Hey now, hey now, now. With dragon's help, I'll be a knight some day. Oh, yes! Yeah! Woohoo! Yippee! This is the place to be, dragon. Surrounded by nothing except everything. Oh, I feel so free! And your head in the clouds! <laughs> Rake? It is my garden, Peppa. Oh. In this light, at this moment, it is perfect. It is! <laughs> Sorry! You lead-legged lander! <laughs> you rat rump rider! <laughs> May I? Dragon! <laughs> you and Dragon are in very high spirits, oh. Jane. The perfect patrol will do that to you. Oh, I almost forgot. For you, Ray. Have you seen its like before? No, never. Where did you find it? Were there more? What was the plant like? A bush? A vine? Just the one bush. Small leaves, not many flowers. But where did you... Sorry, parched. Need a drink. Oh, yes. Thank you. Smells unusual, Peppa. Yes, a new spice mix for the king. Jester heard his majesty complain that everything tastes the same. But I always have the same supplies, so... Thank you for bringing Rake his present, Jane. He had so many questions. Of course he did. Rake has never been far beyond the castle. Never? Really? No, 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 no. Come on, just one flight. What part of no do you not understand? Jane. Yes, Sir Theodore? You have a lesson in tracking today, do you not? Yes, Sir Theodore. Later this morning. Good, good. Be on time. Much to get through. Rake should taste the freedom we have. The wide open spaces. No. All right, dragon. Who provides you with as many vegetables as you can eat? I know what you are trying to do. Well? Rake. And who puts your dung to good use so no one is offended by it? You're all right. I will take him. No, thank you. I'm a gardener. Feet on the ground, you see. See? I will be with you all the way. Yes, all the way up there. No, thank you. But, Rake... You can do it, Rake. Well, of course I can do it. Behave yourself, dragon. Please? Yes, please. Only because you said please. Well, Ray, what do you think? I think... I think the kingdom goes on forever. And then the world goes on forever beyond that. But we should stick with the kingdom for now. Good idea. Come on, dragon. Head for your cave. Dragon's cave? Whoa! You can see everything from up here. Only if you have dragon eyes. Ah, we poor, inferior short lives. The castle seems so far away. And far down. Short lives at the bottom, dragon at the top. Just as it should be. Too far away to see my garden. Or any people. Not one. <gasps> the 
Theodore! Where? Can you see him from here? No, my tracking lesson. I shall be late. Come on. And the kingdom stretches as far as the eye can see. Maybe farther. How do you stretch a kingdom? It is wonderful you saw so much, Rake. The world is a very big place. Bigger than most places. Uh, uh, Pepper, the king, seemed to enjoy tonight's meal. Of course he did. Why? Has he said something? His majesty mentioned he would like to taste something new. Theodore finally let me go. Oh, sorry for making you late, Jane. No, Rake. That was my own doing. I lose all track of time when I'm with Dragon. As I do in my garden. And me when I am cooking. Being funny does it for me. Unless no one laughs, then time stretches on forever. Like now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you awake? Oh, I think so. Maybe not completely. The bread is in the oven and the porridge is on. But I do half my chores in my sleep. Well, I was wide awake all night. Oh, dear. Why? Because of this. Watch. My eyes are shut tight and yet... Her pots. Watering can. Brazier. Hanging baskets. Trellis fence, and all the way along to here. You stayed up all night learning where everything is? I have spent my life learning. Every speck of dirt, every crack in the stone, every inch. My garden is too small for me now. Oh, Rake. But yesterday you said how happy your garden made you. It did. It does. But that was yesterday, Pepper. Um, Jane? Yeah. Of course you can go on another flight, Rake. How... how did you know? One dragon ride is never enough. Where would you like to go? Um, well, Pepper said the king is a bit bored with her cooking, so... Of course. Rake, that is pure genius. We will find Pepper some new ingredients. Some herbs, perhaps. I will have to get the king's permission. Ahem. <clears throat> Do I not get any say in this? Oh, Dragon, sorry, One, I... this is the last time. Two, keep your knobbly gardener knees out of my scales. And three, I get a taste of whatever gets cooked up with the new herbs. Deal? Deal. Oh, I hope the king is this easy. Excellent idea. Excellent. A grand mission, Jane. A new frontier. New flavours, exotic fruits, herbs and spices from far-off lands. Wonderful, wonderful. You must take pack mules, horses. Gunther and Ivan can join you. Bring back all that you can. Um, well, Your Majesty, I was thinking that with Rake's expert knowledge of plants... Rake, yes, splendid idea. And if we go alone on Dragon, we can be there and back before tonight's meal. Tonight? Yes, better and better. Something delicious, some new exotic flavour to spice up tonight's dinner? Yes? Yes, my lord. Off you go, then. I shall be rubbing my belly in expectation for the entire day. No pressure, then. Oh, Rake, with your new herbs, I will cook up a dish fit for the king. Stock. I will start with my fire. I hope we can find egg. something. Of course we will. Just waiting for new flavours to make it sing. Dragon? I was just checking. Who will look after my garden? It would be an honor. What could go wrong? <laughs> uh, apart from that. Farewell, Sage. Goodbye, Rosemary. And Parsley. Dear Parsley. Nothing is going to die, Rake. Sheesh. Good luck, Rake. No risks now. Promise me. I promise, Peppa. 
Are we leaving or not? Come on, Rake. The plants will be fine. Great. The last thing we need is a forest fire. What could I do? Are you all right? Yes, thank you. These trees, they are so huge. And the plant life, it goes on forever. Just look at it. Yes, and all yours for the exploring, Rake. Feel free. Careful, gardener. Who knows what traps lie so far from the castle? The trees are so fragrant. I can smell pine resin, moss, and something. Is it minty? Yes, mint. And a hint of... <laughs> Dragon! <laughs> oh, short lives. No sense of humour. <laughs> and all this lot want a fun. Jokes, the lowest form of humour, where my comedy is witty and subtle, uncovering the little absurdities of life. Like some fool chatting to the plants. Talking to ourselves, are we, Jester? Uh, yes, um, in the absence of someone else intelligent to speak to. Can you get me a sprig of rosemary, please? Rosemary? Uh, certainly. <laughs> but ask it nicely. <laughs> oh. Uh, how is the king's dish coming along? Ordinary. I hope Rake finds some new herbs. Of course he will. No doubt he will say hello to them as well. Well, hello. Excuse me, but I would like you to meet a friend of mine. Jane, I... <laughs> oh, right. I will meet you back here once I have found Pepper some herbs. <laughs> so, Rake talks to you, does he? Has he told you who is the smelliest veggie in the plot? Hmm? A runner bean is long and lean, but it smells too fresh and it smells too clean. The cabbage leaf can cause some grief. The taste is strong, but the smell is brief. Without a doubt, it's the Brussels sprout. It smells going in, but it stinks coming out. Yes, the Brussels sprout, it stinks coming out. Bravo! I am going one better than Rake's talking to the plants. I am singing to them. Is that what you call it? <laughs> a tray of mushrooms, please. And no singing at them. Rake says they can be very sensitive. <laughs> Looks like thyme. But it smells like lemons. It is a lemon thyme. A new herb for pepper. <sighs> Dragon. Dragon, wake up! We dozed off! Not me. How long have we been asleep? Oh, not long enough. Oh, no. Dragon, where is Rake? 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 The king.
King will be satisfied and Peppa will be happy. And Jane... Uh-oh. No, an apple with a sore head. Um, a simple laugh would have sufficed. You are much funnier with potatoes, Jester. Oh, yes, my lord, and hilarious with parsnips. So, how is everything down here? Has Jane returned with her exotic herbs and spices yet? No, your majesty, not yet. Pity, pity. We have high expectations for the evening meal, young lady. Yes, indeed. Carry on. Rake will bring you something. Count on it. Then where is he? not to crush the plants. No smell of him either. Rake! Wait, a footprint. Careful not to... Step on it. Oops. Did you see how fresh it was or which way it was heading? So much for my tracking skills. Theodore will be really cross with me. I am really cross with me. Come on, we can try to spot him from the air. Lost. Completely lost. Well done, Rake. Peppa will be so proud of you. That smells like... Yes, mushrooms. Wild birch mushrooms. Peppa will love these. Just out of... <laughs> Please do not keep His Majesty waiting. Something must have happened to Rake. It must have. Nothing has happened. Now, I will help you here until Rake arrives, chattering away to all his new herbs. At least he will not be singing to them. <laughs> Ow! This is not funny. I'm a gardener, not a rabbit. I like wide outdoor spaces, not, not stupid tight logs. Help! Help! Nothing, not a sign of him. Shall we go for help? No, too far from the castle. A foot patrol would take hours to get here. We have to find him, Dragon. We have to. <laughs> oh no. Now my foot is itching. <sighs> this is hopeless. Jane? Dragon? Jane? Hmm. Log! Break! Oh, Jane. Thank goodness. I seem to be a little, uh, stuck. Yes, just a little. What were you doing? Mushrooms. But I got them. And a bag full of lemon herbs for Peppa. Oh, well done. Now, uh, uh, help! Ow! 
No, I really am stuck. Mm, you really are. No problem. A log is easily broken. Yes, but so is a short life gardener. I have a better idea. How are you, Rake? Stuck in a log? How are you? The smithy will cut you out at the castle. Slowly and carefully. Boring. I dazzled them with my impression of farmyard animals in fog and several songs about dung, but they do want the main course. <sighs> well, it will not be a new taste, but it will be delicious. That it will. But if Rake... Careful, dragon. Rake? Rake, where is he? In here, Pepper. I found a new herb and birch mushrooms, too. What? How? <laughs> Go fetch Smithy. We need him to cut Rake out. Done. Rake? The mushrooms are here, Pepper. The herbs are in my bag. Lemon thyme, Pepper. Lemon thyme. Oh, Rake, you clever thing. Was I too late? Did I let you down? No, Rake. You never let me down. Ever. Then I am the happiest gardener in the whole kingdom. <laughs> oh. How can he be happy stuck in a log? Quiet. Don't spoil the moment. <laughs> me? Oh, yeah. dragon. Ugh. Now that spoils the moment. <laughs> that is not funny. <laughs> A bit funny.